published 1801 EDT, the 16th of September 2017, updated 1801 EDT, the 16th of September 2017. If you've come in search of German stereotypes, the Hobraukler on a Saturday afternoon is the motherload. There are hundreds of people sitting on long wooden benches and chugging beer from one liter steins. Some are tucking into the sort of food that should only be eaten with beer, dubious sausages, salty pretzels, and terrifying concoctions that might be cheese, but it's probably wise not to ask. Drinks for all massive beer gardens, such as the Hobraukler, are sprinkled around Munich, and they do a roaring trade. And in the middle of all this, an Oompa band is merrily popping away. This scene isnt a one-off. Munich may be famous for the Oktoberfest, the largest beer festival on earth, but beer is almost a sacred part of the culture here. Massive beer gardens such as the Hobraukles are sprinkled around the city, and they do a roaring trade. Some are more old-fashioned than others, but the old rules still apply. You're allowed to bring in whatever food you like. Rules are important here and the most important of all is the Reinheitsgebot, the German beer purity law that was first adopted in Munich in 1487. It decreed that the only ingredients in beer could be hops, barley and water. This is covered at the Beer and Oktoberfest Museum, the first stop on a radius Bavarian beer tour. It is, ironically, a little dry inside, but there are a few fascinating snippets. Drinking it in the most visited place in Munich is another beer house, the Hobrauhaus. Founded in 1589, up to 50,000 people drop in daily above. Visitors at the city's Oktoberfest Their Oktoberfest started as a rerun of a royal wedding celebration. Refrigeration was invented by a man who conjured up an ice-making machine to keep beer cool. Beer used to be drunk as a safe alternative to the iffy water supply. But the good stuff is downstairs, and guide Keith takes his eager charges down for a tasting session. Out come the light, dark and wheat beers, all produced by the local Augustine Brau Brewery. They are all potent but easily drinkable. Keith says this is by design. Massive beer gardens such as the Hobraukles are sprinkled around the city, and they do a roaring trade. Bavarian beers aren't trying to push the boat out with wild and challenging flavors. They're made for drinking over a decent session with friends. There's also no obsession with serving them ice cold. They're not trying to hide anything by numbing the tongue. The most visited place in Munich is another beer house, the Hobraukles, founded in 1589. Up to 50,000 people drop in daily at this behemoth of a place, set over several floors. This is the most democratic room in the world, says Keith, pointing out the main hall. All differences are left outside, we join the end of a long table, and order those mammoth steins. We've no idea if the people next to us are kings, teachers, bank managers or binmen. But in Munich's beer wonderland, there's no reason why they can't be all four. EasyJet EasyJet.com flies to Munich from Luton, Gatwick, Stansted, Manchester and Edinburgh. One-way fares start from £20.99 rooms at the colourful, sociable Bold Hotel BoldHotels.com and in the city centre cost from £65. The Radius Bavarian Beer Tour RadiusTours.com costs £30 per person. For further information on the city, visit munchen.dientin.